uh hi everyone so today i am uh, going to talk on this uh, topic that's uh, linear parametric functions and conditions for estimability clear so uh, before talking about this uh, topic this is a simple 10 or 15 minutes topic so if you want to learn the whole chapter just go to the playlist on my channel you will find the whole unit that's a uh, named as linear models all right so uh starting uh, the linear parametric functions so c linear parametric functions so what's a linear parametric function a linear parametric function of the unknown parameters it's a function of basically it's a function of unknown parameters the unknown parameters are beta 1 beta 2 up to beta p as you know whenever we have the linear model it may be simple or it may be multiple but we are having the parameters involved in the linear model right so if i write the exact uh, model here that is y is equals to x beta girl plus epsilon error this is my general linear model from this general linear model i can write simple linear regression model as well as multiple linear regression model now see what's multiple linear regression model what is multiple linear regression model multiple linear regression model is simply y is equal to beta not x1 plus beta1 x2 up to so on here i am having the parameters as beta not beta1 beta2 up to beta p these are my parameters so we form a function that's known as a linear parametric function that's the linear the degree should be 1 see here is degree 1 degree 1 degree 1 i can write this as uh, x curl beta curl y is equal to x curl beta curl so x curl is the vector and beta is also the vector this is row vector this is also a row vector right now this is my multiple linear regression model if i talk about the simple linear regression model that's y is equal to beta not x1 plus beta1 so this is in general right if we talk about the straight line so here this beta not represents slope and this beta1 represents intercept when we are dealing with the straight line fitting of a straight line by least square estimation so it's the work of a uh, uh, linear models to fit a line to fit a best fit to fit a best lead fitted line clear so y is equal to beta not x plus beta 1 x so this is simple linear regression model but model uh, i can write it in general form y is equal to beta not x1 plus beta 1 plus epsilon the epsilon is error so if you don't know about the property assumptions of epsilon or the properties of epsilon just go through my whole playlist so the playlist link will be in the description box clear now a linear parametric function a linear parametric function of the unknown parameters this so we make a function that's linear uh, of uh, parameters so that's beta 1 beta 2 beta p that's known as the linear parametric function as we can express this as summation ci beta i i is equal to 1 to p so i can write this as c curl transpose beta curl where the c transpose this is my column vector this is my column vector so i can write this as c1 c2 c3 up to c this is my uh, c1 c2 is my row vector c1 c2 up to c p and this is my column vector beta1 beta2 up to beta p clear clear so this is my row vector and this is my column vector so see if i do one thing here so can i write it as in a linear form so this is c1 beta1 plus c2 beta2 up to so on so this becomes a linear parametric functions and c1 c2 c3 are my known constants clear so you can uh, you can see from this c1 c1 uh, c1 c2 and cp are my fixed known constants and this is uh, my linear parametric function so now the contrast of this linear parametric function will be when whenever summation of constants is equal to 0 whenever summation of constants will be 0 
So this is my linear parametric function. You can see the power on the parameters is 1 and the sum of coefficients, the sum of constants is equal to 0. Clear? So this is my contrast of linear parametric function. So we make a contrast of linear parametric function only. Clear? Now, the elementary contrast is the condition when, when one coefficient of constant, coefficient of beta is equal to positive and another coefficient of some other beta will be negative. From here, beta 1, beta 1 minus beta 3. As you can see, the constant here is plus 1 and the constant here is minus 1. So, this is my elementary contrast of linear parametric function. So, if you are asked to tell about the elementary contrast of some parametric function that C curl transpose beta, so this is nothing but this. So, this is nothing but this. So, beta 1 minus beta 3. How this is equal to this? So, see, this whenever, uh, as you know, we did one thing uh, in just uh, two, three minutes before, C1 beta 1 plus C2 beta 2. What's this? This is summation Ci beta i. Clear? So, see from this, what's C1? C1 is here 1 and what's C2? C2 is here 1 but minus 1. So, this is beta 1 plus minus 1 beta 3, beta 2, uh, beta 3, yeah. beta 3. Clear? So now what's a linear orthogonal contrast? Why we are studying these contrast, orthogonal contrast? Because whenever we uh, study ANOVA or design of experiments, these things will uh, do some work there. Whenever we study DOE or ANOVA, because ANOVA is based on the linear model, design of experiment is based on the linear models as well. Right? So we find their betas, betas. In ANOVA or design of experiment, we, we simply find their parameters, the value of parameters, right? So what's linear orthogonal contrast to see? The linear orthogonal contrast, whenever we have two linear parametric functions, that is CI, BI and summation CI, DI. Or oh, summation DI, BI. Summation DI, BI. So the orthogonal contrast is said when summation CI, DI is equal to zero, whenever the sum of the constants is 0. As if I talk about beta 1 minus beta 3 and minus beta 4 plus beta 5. Now, do one thing, do summation or do summation of CIs, CI, DIs. So, from here, this is 1, this is minus 1. So, this is 0, 0, this is 0 and this is 0. So, 0 plus 0 is 0. As you can see from summation ci plus summation di, that is equal to 0. So this is linear orthogonal contrast. Now what's unbiased linear estimate? Unbiased. Uh, let me give an example. If I say expectation of p is some uh, parameter theta, then uh, in case of inference, we say t is unbiased estimator of unbiased estimator of theta. What it mean actually? It means that the t is the true representative of theta. Let t is my some estimator or statistic. So I can say that t is the true representative of the theta. That means that statistic is true representative of parameter. On the basis of estimator, we can estimate the population values. So here, that is an unbiased estimator. Clear? So from here, from here, we have, we have some known quantities, a1, a2 up to an. So, summation ai yi, yi is equal to a y curl, a transpose y curl or I can write expectation of a transpose y curl is equal to c transpose beta curl. So, I can say this is unbiased estimate of linear parametric function. So, this value is unbiased estimate of this. So, that is unbiased linear estimate. Clear? Now, estimable functions in linear models. How we can estimate the functions in linear models? Now, definition of estimable function. A linear parametric function, C curl transpose beta curl, is said to be estimable if there is a linear combination of, linear combination with an expected value equal to the C curl transpose beta curl. So, whenever we talk about the estimable function, this condition should be hold. 
what's uh, this this is the linear combination of y y is the observations with an expected value of and a is the known constants a is the known constants or vector of constants so this condition should be hold so now the condition for estimability as you know as you know if uh, uh, nobody knows nothing so here all linear parametric functions of beta are estimable if and only if x has a full rank case whenever what's x this is some matrix x is some matrix whenever whenever the rank of that matrix is is whenever the rank of that matrix is equal to number of variables then we can only uh, we can only estimate the parametric function clear so remember whenever we are going to estimate the linear parametric function the matrix x should be non singular that the determinant should not be equal to zero determinant of that matrix should not equal to zero see if this is my y is equal to x beta curl so x is my matrix let's suppose this is my matrix so i am uh, estimating the parametric function linear parametric function before proceeding the calculations uh, you need to remember here one thing that the determinant of this matrix should not equal to zero so this means that the matrix x is non singular and from system of linear equations when whenever the matrix is non singular rank of that matrix is equal to number of columns or number of variables clear now methods of determ determine estimability so this is my given model and here the assumptions of epsilon is epsilon follows normal zero comma sigma square identity clear and expectation of epsilon is equal to zero variance of epsilon is equal to sigma square covariance between epsilon i epsilon j is also equal to zero there should be no multicollinearity clear that's why covariance is equal to zero now expectation of y is equal to uh, expectation of y is equal to x beta because expectation of epsilon is zero so this is equal to this when x is n cross n of p uh, of rank pre uh, this is my x n cross p my order is the n cross p so rank is p the objective of uh, this methods of determining estimability that here we have the three conditions if any one of these three conditions holds then we can say uh, we can say we can estimate uh, estim we can estimate the linear parametric functions or we can say c curl transpose beta curl is estimable estimable is simply find the expectation of sum that's equal to c curl transpose beta curl so the expectation of what expectation of what the expectation of this is equal to this expectation of this is equal to this or this holds true for this so these are the three conditions that we are going to this this uh, so so uh, from condition 1 c curl transpose is a linear combination of rows of x so this is the linear combination of rows of x matrix so there is a vector such that this condition holds so the condition first is this the condition second is this and the condition third is this if you want to learn these three conditions in detail go to the playlist i name it as linear models and anova something from that playlist go to lecture number 7 clear so summary what uh, we did today summary of uh, conditions for estimability is uh, estimability relies on the rank of a matrix as i can uh, as i said that um, rank of x should be p rank of matrix x should be p and and it should be non singular determinant of this x should not equal to 0 condition involving linear combination of rows and this uh, specific conditions and this conditions should be equal to c or c curl transpose or c or c curl transpose you can go uh, to the playlist and uh, see the whole proof of this uh, of these three conditions clear so we did uh, this uh, linear parametric functions and estimability so uh you have to do one thing uh, for sure just subscribe my channel and uh, like uh, this uh, video and for whole uh, the concept of a linear model a simple linear regression model uh, anova as well as cochrane's theorem quadratic form uh, gauss markov setup uh, check the description of this video and uh, and subscribe my channel